Hey guys, it's your girl Beebs, and I'm back with another video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe. This video is going to be based around university. Um, I've previously done a video on this, but I didn't go into that much detail. So now we're going to focus on the University of Northampton because I know like a few people have reached out to me um and asked me like some information more specifically to do with northampton so i thought okay let me just round it up into like a video because there's so much videos on like university of leicester there's so much on dmu there's so much on like, Penn and um canterbury and stuff so i thought okay let me do a, one for my nm people you know shout out to y'all i say oh my god a big congratulations to anyone who is going to university like you know and this is a big huge step so Big up you two times. So I kind of wanted to focus a bit more just on Northampton. What I know from Northampton, my experience. So yeah, and because I've got like a few questions on Northampton, which if you do have any questions as well, please do feel free to like DM me on Insta or reach out to me and stuff. Like I will actually, I reply and stuff, especially when it comes to uni. So right, boom. So Northampton, the first thing I want to say, yeah, before we get into the University of Northampton, North, um, I want to talk about Northampton as a like county so like what to expect from the area of northampton right if you're a city person so if you're like someone who's like raised up in london or birmingham or like places that are actually known cities when you enter northampton the first thing you're going to notice is the difference in the area it is a town in northampton so that means that it is quiet okay you hear me it's a town like that whole place, the whole town centre literally closes at six or seven. I'm not too sure. But yeah, so but I'm just basically emphasising that the town itself is quiet, okay? Like, it's very different, especially if you're now going to visit other people that are in other places. You're going to notice the huge difference between Northampton, I mean, between the town and the city, if you're a city person, do you get what I mean? But um, yeah, I just will just a huge heads up on that. I think that's the good thing about Northampton because it does get really draining always being around places that are really busy. So when you're in Northampton, you can literally feel you can you feel a bit more chilled. You feel a bit it's more relaxed. It's more quiet. Like most people that used to come down to Northampton always came down because we literally created our own vibes and it would just be like chill because not so much is going on. Do you get what I mean? like outside like not so much going on outside if anything it's yours accommodation that's going to be the latest place in northampton the university of northampton and northampton town is separate it, even though it's in the same place it's separate because northampton town is the quiet bit no university of northampton is where the party goes that is where it's gonna be lit okay but all the clubs and bars are like closed late obviously because they know that um there's like university students trying to get you lot lit and stuff food shops as well they open a a little bit later as well so you ain't gonna worry about that that's but cool let me get into accommodation but specifically i'm gonna go into more details about my accommodation and where i stayed so um i stayed at st john's period the little bit in northampton but obviously i've left northampton now i left northampton last year so when i did leave last year waterside campus was built so my last year literally is when waterside um was built so i know that there's new accommodations there and it's as good as no um as st john's but i'm gonna talk about st john's because i know about st john's so yeah st john's it literally it, it was really nice it's a nice accommodation it's really clean like um i stayed in the bit where the only thing i had to share was my kitchen and i was really really lucky because i was literally around sorry i'm drinking coke so my tongue is brown but i came with my cousins i literally stepped into my floor and all of my thinky mates were black like i was like there was only two girls on my floor so we had four boys and two girls and i tell you i was really blessed with the flatmates i had because there was not really any wahala like that the bad thing about me is i just was not in my flat a lot and um yeah but one thing i really liked about my accommodation is not only that i did had like good people because someone asked me as well is northampton diverse is really really diverse like you'll meet a mixture of people but i just so happened to get into my floor and there was just all black people like the only thing with st john's is that it's really expensive but i would say it's kind of worth it because um you literally feel like you're living in a hotel like everything was so cool like we had a key card and like the key card would open the door we put in the little slot for the electricity and stuff like so obviously don't use the key card 
but yeah it was expensive but i would say it's comfy the security oh yeah that's another thing the security was the security didn't play in St. John's, but again, um, I still think you can kind of slightly baff it, if I'm being honest, because they obviously know that you're a uni student, so how are people not going to visit you? How are you not going to have people around and stuff? Um, So, I don't know, maybe they've gone a bit more stricter um, as the years have gone by, or maybe they've gone a bit more lenient. But for my year, I feel like they were still a bit strict, but we still managed to baff it in terms of like bringing people from different unis around and stuff um and like having our guests round but it's just again you just can't be wandering around and stuff because they will find you so yeah they have like literally spinny doors where you come in but be friends with the security that's the best thing you can do in that place yeah be friends with security and they'll actually depending on how the security is they'll actually like nice you and stuff so yeah it was really comfy and also if you're the type of person that wants to stick to yourself a bit st john's is good as well because i do know someone who was in third year and stayed in st john's just to like focus on her work and yeah not have to worry about people coming in and out of her calm and stuff but yeah i like st john's then the next place i don't know too much about waterside but i'm hearing waterside is like peng as well it's a nice place too and i would say stay at waterside because it is closer to your accommodation back when i was in uni northampton was at park campus and hmm, park campus is accommodation so i literally had either park campus or st john's and i was not going to do park campus do you get what i mean so i had to do st john's because park campus is accommodation it's the ghetto it's <laughs> it's really the ghetto ah, the ghetto the ghetto Ghetto. I'm not. I don't. I don't even want to bad mouth it, but it's really. Mm, but it's cheap. That's the thing. It's really cheap on that side. But it kind of makes sense because, <laughs> yo, that accommodation was different. It was really different. But again, it, um, it was closer to where the old campus used to be. But now there's Waterside Campus. It's like. I don't even know. Apparently, they still have park campuses accommodations. I don't know why they have it there because now it's even more of a journey to travel it's not that good accommodation and then now it's far away like the come on come on <laughs> waterside is looking like it's nice and apparently security isn't as um tough like isn't as tight there and like, there's not that much security but again i never ever say that waterside i'm just going based on what i've heard i would advise staying on waterside now let's talk about like food shopping because i said i was gonna do a lot of food videos that's still coming up i'm still gonna do, i, I want to start from the basics i think i'm just gonna take it way back to mac and cheese and chicken wings first because that's a basic sis that's a basic bro y'all need to know how to do that one because the way you're gonna yum up mac and cheese and chicken <laughs> yeah you're gonna eat it like no tomorrow everywhere you go even people that say oh because we used to do stuff like well people in my accommodation used to do stuff like um come dine with me and stuff so I'm telling you, there'll be mac and cheese and chicken wings on that table. I know that Morrison's, I think, is the closest thing if you stay at St. John and if you stay at Waterside. Um, Morrison's wasn't too bad as well. We did went Morrison's. Then if you bop a little bit, there's Asda. But Asda's a chop. Asda's where you're feeling nice or you're the one that's not paying for the shopping. <laughs> you feel me? Cool. What? <laughs> no, Asda can be a chop. But it's got the sweet quality things. But then there's Aldi and Lidl. That's just like, literally, I think you just take a bus or you can bop if you want to be extra. That's like further up, like, towards Avenue Campus. Oh, yeah, same with Avenue Campus. I don't know if Avenue still got accommodation there and um freshers freshers i've already spoke about freshers i told you lot what to do beforehand make sure you save your peas or even get your tickets from now the, by the time i upload this video i want you guys to already have your tickets because you don't want to get there now and they start telling you 20 30 pounds for a ticket and you enter the rave and it is bs no way go to the bait raves as everyone would say go to the bait i went to every single freshers just to get that experience but some of it wasn't worth it but i think the experience makes it just go out for the first week and you might even go to other mo like people might have other motives that don't involve going out just chilling in the accommodation doing your dues getting to know people playing some games or whatever like so that might even be more little than going to the bar or going to the club or whatever the um rave is do you get what i mean so mix and match that too but go to the bait ones i think i don't know if this rave is still about but insanity insanity is what nn is known for that rave <laughs> that rave has got to be like the latest one in nn 
I don't know if any other raving NN that bangs as much as Insanity. Honestly, because NN is not like um, a city sent. Like another good thing about um, the University of Northampton is it's not far from other unis. So if you do have a friend like in Leicester, you can literally take a bus, literally a bus or a train um, to Leicester. Or um, if you have a friend in Coventry, you can take a train to Coventry, Birmingham. T t so it's one thing you're lucky about staying in Northampton is that you know you can go anywhere from Northampton. Whereas some other unis, it's kind of difficult to go. Do you get what I mean? But, um, yeah, there was just different trains. And the trains are baffable as well still. I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to talk too much. Just... But, yeah, now I'm talking about Northampton. Even though I had so many wayward men, I still really enjoyed being there. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed the experience. Obviously, you're going to have bad times, but you're going to have good times as well. It's just university. It's just like wherever you stay in university, you're gonna have a mixture of experiences there, and it's all part of like learning and shit. And it's the like I'm telling you guys, first year is the best time to do all these things in. That first month of university is just like you're in, you're on holiday. Like no of exaggeration, it is literally like you're on. You, you even still think it's summer, but extended summer with freedom. You get to be lit. You're gonna have fun. You're gonna do whatever you wanna do whenever you wanna do it. It's your own space, mental as well as physical space. Like who doesn't like that? Come on, who does not like that? As I already spoke about this in my other video, because I don't want it to be a thing where I can be re very repetitive. So check that video out too. But um beg it with your lecturers i'm not joking these are the people that are going to mark your work these are the people that are actually give you the questions for your exam or your um assignments beg it with them even if you have nothing to say just email hey sarah um da -da -da, i'm just having a look at something um one of my bit and i noticed that and if sarah because sarah's probably getting better emails because your email is different now and you got to say you say oh sarah remember we was discussing Ooh. oh sarah remember we was discussing the photographic whatever it is you're studying <laughs> i don't even know what i'm doing but mine would be like a case or something if i've read into a case or something but again i made the mistake of doing all these things in my third year start begging them from first year because majority of your lecturers are going to say the same from first year to um to third year so start begging it with them i'm not gonna lie and as i told y'all a little hint i don't know if you made it to the end of the other video but i shouldn't really pay in the end but go to your seminars go to your seminars even if you're not taking it in because i can't lie some days you just be slumped out of your head it's long but go sit down and record what you need to record because you guys need to pass that first year as much as it doesn't count you need to pass that first year when you have a good first year you'll have an excellent second year and a fantastic third year okay you just make sure you be passing it and obviously ha have your fun and whatever don't because some people be like oh that's what you're gonna see at the end of the year is when you're gonna see a lot of people drop in and not coming into the second year that's how you're gonna see it because some people let the party life get to them too much and forgot oh yeah i'm paying nine grand for this year nine nine grand plus because maintenance loan all these other loans that are be given it's mula it's mula baby like i said in my other one have the time in your life in uni but also please remember to pass because we're trying to get i'm trying to make sure y'all get your degree okay that's why you there that's why you watching this video because at the end of the day you want to make sure it's going to be lit as well as make sure that you're going to get that degree and you will if you're feeling nervous don't worry there's like so many other people that are feeling like that too join the group chats join the whatsapp group chats i think they're through facebook or instagram or i don't know like reach out to all of them join it even if you're not in it now wait until you get there chat to your neighbors or whoever jump into their one or whatever's popping just come with a friendly vibe and you'll have the best time of your life so on that note i'm gonna love y'all and leave y'all please reach out to me if you need me i gotcha and have the best time of your lives people bye <laughs>